<sighs> well, last cycle felt like a waste of time. I mean, yeah, I guess I managed to discover that quantum things can travel with quantum relics so long as it's not being observed. But, I don't know. It just felt like it was a big waste of time. I did learn a few things about some of the other towers in a sun station, apparently. And there was that one tower that was completely covered in cat dyes, so maybe this cycle I should go pay that a visit. If anything, there was also like a reporting that there was a quantum shard located on Giant's Deep, but I don't remember ever seeing a shard on any of the islands when I was there. Which is weird. And there's the sun station now. I'm surprised I never actually noticed it. Or maybe I did and all these cycles are just starting to blur together. Alright, well, either way, let's make our way to the Ash Twin and I guess wait out until the sand goes down. I don't think I'll have a whole lot of time if I decide to dilly-dally on Ember Twin to top the shirt and all, or to explore the Sunless City once more, because there was still a chunk of that planet in it, or that I still have yet to discover. The only problem is, I don't know where on this sandball the one tower I was looking for is located. I guess if anything, I could wait for the sand to start pouring down into Ember Twin and hope to find the tower there. But we'll see. This is probably the best uh, view to watch it because I can just watch the planet circle each other as the sand drops down. Yeah, but who knows for how long that's going to be. I guess if anything, uh... I can head out here and see if I can pick up a quantum signal on Giant Steep. I guess if anything to find the planet. Let's see, that's just shirt signal. Uh, it's just the uh, bramble. Ah, there it is. Oh yeah, there is a quantum signal coming from there. Looks like it's coming from the northern hemisphere. Well, when I get done here, and maybe if I have time to explore the Sunless City, I'll take my search over there. It's the only thing left on that planet I haven't discovered yet, so it's worth a look. Alright, let's see. Is the sand finally starting to drop into Ember Twin, or... Oh, yeah, it's starting to go down quite a bit. Alright, there's the sand path. Now if I follow this, I should be able to find... There it is! Alright, let's set it over here so that way I don't have to worry about it getting caught up in the, the sand pillar. Imagine what it'd feel like in there with all that sand just buried all the way up to this glass. And to even think, it might even go above the glass as well. There's the station. Get a good angle on it to take a look. It's a very interesting design. I wonder what it was even used for. It said that it was to harness the power of the sun or something? Well, either way, I'm not going to discover anything just standing out here. Thankfully, the sand's about ready to go down, and I can head inside. Hopefully, before the pillar shows back up, I do Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, go down. Go down. Uh-oh. I might need to get out of the way. Yep, I'm, I'm going. Ooh, that's actually somewhat terrifying now that I'm seeing it from a ground perspective. It 
would be nice to see the sand pillar go both ways during these cycles. Unfortunately, time runs out before I can even see it refill this planet. I wonder what it would also be like to ride inside that thing. Probably very painful. That, that's going to be my be best guess. So many cacti. Ow. Uh, patch it, patch it. Get sight. Whew. I narrowly avoided a prickly sensation. And unfortunately, I can't see. Yeah, it's already starting to show. The sand goes down pretty fast. Uh, at least the front door is finally open. Oh, just a light. Here's one of the teleporters, I wonder. Let's see, light's coming from that end, which means that if it links up with the sun, maybe this is how the gnome might manage to get to the station. It makes sense, this is very sun-shaped. As it's lining up. Oh! 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 Oh, I hate that feeling, but it actually worked. I'm on the station. Ugh. This is very disorienting, but I'll have to make the best of it. Ugh. Ugh. Whew. And it's hot in here. 281,442 years ago, no unused commands received for 10 minutes, all systems entering sleep. Six minutes, 46 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Close on emergency doors. Open emergency door. <sighs> well, if I'm gonna discover something, it's not gonna be standing around in here. Oh god, that's hot. That is incredibly hot. It's a good thing the heat shield on this suit is holding up. Although, I feel like I might drown inside this suit before I burn to death in it. All right. One. Two. Huh! Ow. Uh. That was almost a perfect twirl inside here. Oh, my head. Oh, everything is spinning, and I don't think it's because of the fact that we're rotating around the sun. Mission. Science compels us to explode the sun. We can't change this? I don't enjoy working in the view of such a morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if it's an irresponsible feat, if this irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one, mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, Idana. So... Is it because of this thing the sun's exploding? Or was it they were just trying to man-make it? Hmm. Well, either way, it succeeds. But is the sun exploding because of the fact that the universe is dying? Or is it actually the cause of this machine right here? This place looks like it's in a huge state of disrepair right now. Star has reached the end of its natural life cycle. Now approach the red giant stage. Warning, evacuate the sun station. Approximate time until the sun station is destroyed by the expanding star. 2 minutes, 55 seconds. Approximate time until the star's death. 14 minutes, 25 seconds. I can't spend a whole lot of time in here. This place is going to get consumed by the sun.
What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Garo, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were... Eventimously small surface level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It'll never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Return to the Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change in the task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system, and we would like to investigate. Pi, I heard for you, my friends. We all know how hard you worked, but I can only offer my co compassion. How are you? How is Idenia? Well, well, Yaro, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disregarded, disagreed with the exploding of the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work would, was finished. So, this thing wasn't the cause of the supernova. From the reads of this, it barely scratched the surface of the sun. I wonder where this leads. Of course, it would lead back to the Ash Twin Project. Still need to figure out how to get in here. And, well, I guess I know what happened to the other researchers when they went to the comet. The sun's starting to get a little too big for my taste, so I think it's time I make a hasty retreat out of here. I think I'm going to have to take the shuttle path again. I wish there was a faster way to get there, because I don't think I have a whole lot of time. Yep. <sighs> well, at least it's nice and cool out here now. And these caves are pretty cool as well, so at least I won't... Uh, burn alive. Alright, let's see if I remember the path. Like right here. Alright, no, that's breathable air. That path. Oh, yeah, the sun's, or the sand's starting to get pretty high up in here. signal. I just hope I have enough time. I'm not seeing a sun station orbiting the sun, which means it must have been consumed. Which means if it was consumed, I only have like 12 minutes before the sun goes supernova. Alright, 
Where is Giant's Deep? I can't believe it's so hard to find Giant's Deep. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. I can't find Gabbro's Flute anywhere out here. Ah, there it is. It's all perfectly lined up, surprisingly. No wonder I couldn't find him that easily. Alright. Quantum functions coming from the top of the planet. Hmm. What could I have missed on there that would have had that quantum signal? Hmm. I can't figure it out. Maybe it was another research station, or maybe it's something that was below the surface? Well, either way, I only have one way to find out. I never thought I'd be coming back here again. Every time I say I never want to come back to this planet, something always drags me back. Whoa! Alright. Quantum signal's coming from around here. So there it is. And now it's gone. Hmm. Maybe if I land, I'll get a better idea of where this quantum signal is coming from. It's at the top of the, the upper hemisphere of the planet, so... Let's use the suit's navigator. Alright. Upper hemisphere is that way. Oh, that big boy. The signal is coming from directly inside that cyclone. Yeah, it just gets thrown up. Oh, this is going to be a really stupid idea. Uh, no, it's repelling me. It's not throwing me up, not throwing me down. It's literally acting like a, a wall that's keeping me from going in. I wonder. What if I go up and over? Cyclones are always hollow in the middle, so if I do this... And come back down inside the planet, and hopefully inside the cyclone. Aha! Oh! Now, how did I manage to miss this? The signal's coming from inside that tower. Oh, oh, ow, ow. Uh, all surprisingly, the hull is not too damaged, although I can't say the same. Uh, give me that med kit. Oh. Oh, that's so much better. Where am I? I don't think any know my records talk of this place. Only that there was a quantum signal coming from here. Well, I'm not going to discover anything, just standing around. Yeah, I know for a fact time is not on my side right now, so I need to be fast. Then again, time is never on my side during these adventures, but... Eh. I get what I'm saying. What's this? Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Whoa. 
don't know my year, though. Enter this place without friends. However, these are lessons to learn for yourself. I guess that explains why there's no no my here. Ooh. Seek the wandering arch. Right. This arch is quantum, so I need to observe it to make sure it doesn't jump to another location. And there's the shard. I guess I go down. Now even the podium's quantum. Oh, there it is. Observing a quantum object, observing an image of a quantum object, these are the same. So, observe an image of it. It's still here. Doing that. The arch and crystal do not naturally meet. Crystal? Oh, that. Okay, I see. Use this. Get it over to where the crystal is. Use the image, and now they're both stuck in the same plane. Oh! I wonder what the Nomai's version of an image finder would be, or a little probe. Because they'd had to have picture technology. This is the last one, but we made it harder. So I gotta get up there and use the crystals to get up there. Put that there so we can watch this crystal. Oh! Oh! Ow! My legs! The big problem is getting the crystal up here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. 